Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake Channel. Today I'm going to be talking about everything that happened April 2018 for all of the Disney parks around the world. So let's get started. So not very much has happened in the parks recently, but there are quite a few upcoming updates that are happening this year and a bunch of new food options and a bunch of kind of smaller little updates that I will be talking about today and I'll be covering all the parks so let's get started. So first starting off at the Walt Disney World Resort in Animal Kingdom. Actually today for me is the 20th anniversary of Animal Kingdom so happy birthday to Animal Kingdom. So with it being the 20th anniversary Disney will for sure make their money on all of the 20th anniversary merchandise from t-shirts to magic bands to jumbo pins and yes I did get one of the jumbo pins. It's right here. Some really, really cool new merchandise, including a wooden gift card, which I thought is pretty cool, but also kind of strange. Animal Kingdom also released a wooden hat, which I think is really, really cool, but also, again, kind of strange. Also, the Up Bird Show did finally open in Animal Kingdom. It looks really, really cute, and I'm excited to see it one day. Also, another new show is coming to Animal Kingdom called Donald's Dino Bash. In Pandora, the world of Avatar, the utility suit finally made its debut. This is not a meet and greet, it is more of a show type experience. Next, moving over to Epcot, the Ratatouille attraction is going vertical and that ride looks absolutely amazing. And the ride is also currently available at Walt Disney Studios in Paris. Next, moving over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. The Lenny and Chuckles boxes were added to the queue of Toy Story Mania. The Fast Passes for Toy Story Land are now available to guests staying at Walt Disney World Resort Hotels because now we are about 60 days out from that, so that is super, super exciting. New props are starting to enter into the new land to finish it off, like these planets from Alien Swirling Saucers. A booth outside of the Toy Story Land entrance is now taking shape, and it is rumored to be a merchandise stand, but is not for sure yet. With Toy Story Land opening soon, the tiers of Fast Passes will be changing. Tier 1 will include the Alien Swirling Saucers, Toy Story Mania, and the Slinky Dog Dash Coaster. And the Tier 2 attractions being Beauty and the Beast Live, Disney Junior Live, Fantasmic, The Frozen Sing-Along, The Indiana Jones Stunt Show, Muppet Vision 3D, Rock and Roller Coaster, Star Tours, The Tower of Terror, and The Voyage to the Little Mermaid. And also the menu for Woody's Lunchbox has been released. If you guys like to see some of the full menu, that will be linked down below. Items like the Monte Cristo and other specialty little snacks will be coming to the Woody's Lunchbox quick service restaurant inside of Toy Story Land. Also inside of Disney's Hollywood Studios, test footage has been released for the Millennium Falcon attraction, and I believe this also counts for Disneyland as well. Permits have been filed for the Star Wars Hotel. And files have been patented for the multimedia system to create the immersive experience inside of the Star Wars Hotel. The Fairfax Fair on Sunset Boulevard is now serving breakfast, and that is located in front of Tower of Terror. And lastly for Hollywood Studios, the Sweet Spells Bakery and Store closed this month, and that is also located on Sunset Boulevard. And now moving over to the Magic Kingdom, Tomorrowland is getting repainted, the purple wall will stay, but is getting some really cool new touches added to it, as well as other parts located around Tomorrowland. I really do feel that this land needed a good little refresher before Tron comes, and I really like the new futuristic look patterns on the walls. The theater project that was supposed to be located on Main Street has been cancelled, and it is rumored that it was cancelled because new monorails will be coming to the Walt Disney World Resort, which are definitely needed, and that is all we've heard about the monorail systems so far but there has been some different rumors on what the design of the monorail will look like or if it will stay the classic look. Also located on Main Street, the Casey's Corner Quick Service Restaurant is now serving mint julep. The Magic Kingdom Speedway gas station has reopened and new Disney food plush can be spotted throughout the stores through both Walt Disney World Resort and the Disneyland Resort in the United States. Disney World is currently continuing the theme of Millennial Pink with a bunch of new treats found throughout the Walt Disney World Resort. In Tomorrowland, you can find a Millennial Pink Milkshake 
This is a strawberry milkshake topped with cotton candy and a homemade Mickey Mouse marshmallow. And that looks so good. Throughout the rest of the resort, you can find a bunch of millennial pink themed treats in Epcot and the Polynesian, as well as many other resorts and bakeries around the resort. And now on to just basic Walt Disney World. This is covering all different things inside of the resort. The My Disney Experience app is currently being updated so your phone can unlock your room. I don't know how I feel about this because now they're kind of starting to get rid of magic bands and have everything on your phone and I honestly don't really like that because if your phone is dead how are you gonna get into your room? I like having to go on vacation and just put your phone down, put your phone away and just enjoy your vacation. I love the whole idea of magic bands and I do think it's a good idea. I get where they're going with this but I could see some problems and this is currently being tested at the Wilderness Lodge. Disney is also testing Memory Maker for one day passes. The Crossroads Shopping Center outside of Walt Disney World will be closing. Also through the My Disney Experience app you can now purchase annual passes for the Walt Disney World Resort. And the Disney Skyliner is currently under construction still. Now this looks amazing and this is rumored to be opening at the end of 2019. As you can see through some of these pictures it is vertical now and I'm really excited to see this come together and it will be a great new way of transportation. Minivans are now permanent at the Walt Disney World Resort. The Pixar Play Zone Kid Area is currently being finished up at the Contemporary Resort. Also at the Contemporary Resort you can find a monorail cupcake and this looks so, so good. A solar farm is currently being constructed at the Walt Disney World Resort to power two of their theme parks. The Riviera construction for the new hotel is currently taking shape and is moving along, as well as the Coronado Springs expansion and a new building is taking shape there as well. The My Disney Experience app is currently adding the Disney bus wait times. Disney Springs is currently adding their third parking garage. The NBA Experience has received some new scrim and walls around it and is working on going vertical. The World of Disney Store is still under construction throughout this year but is accommodated so guests can still shop there. And a new Disney style store will be opening where the Harley Davidson store was in Disney Springs and that store looks like it will be absolutely amazing and will hold many of the trending Disney merchandise. Guests will also not be allowed to transfer fast passes. A Disney Play app launches for guests at the Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland Resort in the United States and I'm really interested to see what this app has. Now speaking of the Disneyland Resort in California, Pixar Playtime has started this month. Throughout the Disneyland Resort and Disney's California Adventure, you can find Pixar themed food and merchandise everywhere. If you guys would like to see the full menus of different foods that they have at the Disneyland Resort, they will also be linked down below. And I'll also be showing some of the merchandise here. They have ornaments, t-shirts, charms, popcorn buckets, souvenir cups, straws, and so much more. The Blue Sky Cellar opened in Disney's California Adventure to show some of the Pixar Pier concept art. Pixar Pier is currently under construction and will open on June 23rd. I am super, super excited for this and I think it will be amazing. It was also announced at one of the snack stands inside of Pixar Pier. The adorable Snowman Frosted Treats will serve lemon Dole Whips. New Cars merchandise has been released in Cars Land and the construction of Pixar Pier is coming along very very well and the Pixar Pier sign has just been added and rose gold food continues to pop up across the Disneyland Resort and Paint the Night has come back to Disney's California Adventure. Back over to Disneyland, the Together Forever Fireworks Show and Pixar Play Parade has returned. Also in Disneyland, a Dole Whip Donut has been released and that looks so good. An Alien Popcorn Bucket is exclusive for annual pass holders only through May. Above Space Mountain, there is a Starcade or arcade that will be getting refurbed. Red Rocket's Pizza Port has officially been transformed into Pizza Planet from Toy Story. And the It's a Small World queue has reopened and has been extended outside. And lastly, in Disney's California Adventure, the buckets or gondola type baskets that are located on side of the Ferris wheel have been spotted with Pixar characters on them. And here are some new aerials 
for Star Wars Land located in Disneyland. And in Downtown Disney, the dress shop will be opening there as well. And they also have a Downtown Disney themed for Pixar Fest as well with a bunch of Pixar themed topiaries. I love the look of these and they look really, really cute. Also part of Downtown Disney will be demolished towards the end of June, beginning of July, taking out Rainforest Cafe, the AMC Theater, and a few other stores around that area and restaurants. And it is rumored that the AMC Theater will be heading over to the Garden Walk. Next, moving over to Tokyo Disneyland. The Tokyo Disney Resort will be receiving an app this year. It's a small world reopened from its refurbishment and I absolutely love it. It looks so, so cute. A new Dreaming Up Parade has entered the Disneyland Resort and it looks absolutely amazing and the floats look incredible. The 35th anniversary is also currently going on at the Disneyland Resort and they have a bunch of exclusive food and merchandise. The Disneyland 35th projection show has started and they have also announced that there will be no third park added to the Tokyo Disney Resort. And also a quick update for Disneyland Paris. A Lion King musical will be coming. And also moving over to Shanghai Disneyland, soft openings have begun for Toy Story Land and that will be opening very, very soon. It looks amazing and I am excited to see something similar come to Hollywood Studios. And lastly, a few other general updates just for Disney in general. Adventures Infinity War comes out at the end of this month on April 27th. The Incredibles comes out on June 15th and some new trailers have finally been released and I'm really really excited for this movie. Disney is also releasing Tron Lego sets. Solo A Star Wars Story comes out on May 25th with some of the final trailers being released. Pixar has released some photos from a dumpling short about a dumpling that will come to life and that will play before Incredibles 2. An ESPN Plus service was launched this month and that is $4.99 a month. The Dream Finder from Figment has passed away this month and Kristen Bell re finished recording her voice for Frozen 2. I'm interested to hear how that movie is coming along and also all of the links that I found for all of this information will be linked down below so make sure to go check them out if you guys would like any more information. So that is all the updates I have for Disney and beyond for April 2018. Let me know what you guys think about some of these updates down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel for new Disney Park videos at the end of every month. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!